Hi there, welcome back. Janet eats all gluten free and dairy free. I do sometimes give you some other options in case dairy is not an issue, but I recommend stuff like grass fed butter and things like that. But anyway, so today we're going to be making green plantain waffles. The thing about green plantains, they are so good for your gut biome and all those bugs in there, um, all your probiotics require a prebiotic, because which is their food. You know, so they need something to eat and this uh, green papayas have a lot of inulin, which is a non-digestible carbohydrate that those really good gut bugs love. They love it. You're going to love it too. So I get plantains. Plantains are a banana, banana family. Uh, you can get them in Latin food stores for like no money. And they're really good even just fried off in some coconut oil and some salt. This all comes together in a blender. You're going to need a high power blender for this. Because sometimes they don't peel that well when they're green like this. Now you can also do ripe plantains, but they won't, they'll have more sugars and less carb because they, the sugar gobbles up the carbohydrate. These are very low glycemic is what you want, which means it won't raise your insulin levels and your blood sugar, right? So if you do these waffles, these are, this is like a guilt-free breakfast for dinner or breakfast for breakfast. Anyway, it's going to take seven ounces of um, plantain. And this is about, I don't know, I did maybe five plantains about like that. And then this recipe calls for four eggs. Now, I know I've gone a little crazy on you. I don't mean to throw a car in it because you can use regular eggs, but I found duck eggs. Can you believe it? So duck eggs are really high in omega-3 fatty acids. Again, brain health, people. Omega-3s is where it's at. Really living on the edge here. Okay, and then we're going to do a couple tablespoons of coconut oil. I love coconut oil. Again, brain health, people, it's where it's at. A couple tablespoons of that. I also uh, greased my waffle maker with that. But two, so I'm doing two tablespoons of collagen. This collagen is, is the non-gel forming type. I really love collagen because collagen's so good for connective tissue, joints, heart health, all that stuff, skin, hair. You know, want to stay pretty longer? Collagen, and that's why bone broth's so good for you. The collagen in the bones and just a tiny pinch of sea salt in this recipe. And then, here we go. So this looks perfect. And I, you know, you can see it. It looks batter-esque. Okay, nice and hot. And then I just put a little of this in the middle. Because, you know, the first, sometimes you have to sacrifice a pancake or a waffle to the waffle gods. Okay, let's peek at my waffle. Oh, look, I don't have to sacrifice any to the waffle gods. Woohoo! Oh, I'm super stoked on this, people. Thank you to my little Hillary, my little Hillbill, for giving me the waffle maker, too. Waffles are kind of making a comeback. Did you notice that? But anyway, so, okay, so you've got your waffles and you can cool them, wrap them and freeze them if you want. And there's no sugar in these and low glycemic index, really good insoluble fiber for your gut biome. Here is, I'll show it in the both cameras, this Miyoko's vegan butter is unbelievable. So many butters, you know, you know unbutters, non-dairy butters, they either have ingredients I don't approve of or don't want you to put in your body, like hydrogenated canola oil and things like that. Don't do it, people. Processed soy, please don't do that, people. And 
it tastes delicious. It's super buttery and good. You're going to love it. And then the next thing, too, is I want you all go to Costco. They have a big one. Get real maple syrup because other syrups have are, are mostly made from um, high fructose corn syrup, which again, we're talking about blood sugar levels. No bueno. Not that this isn't sugar, but it's just not something, it's not high fructose corn syrup. It's natural. And corn syrup's no bueno. It's genetically modified. It's a nightmare. Just don't do it. I, I think waffles are kind of a miracle. It's like a, a miracle. This is a miracle. You could put chicken on that, right? Chicken and waffles. Hey, you guys, will you do me a favor? Will you subscribe to my channel? It makes all the difference for me and lets me keep on going. So subscribe and tell your friends about me. And I mean, this is food. You know, if you've got someone in your family that can't eat gluten and dairy and you know has autoimmune issues or maybe autism or something like that, this is food everybody can love and eat. So you're not making two meals, you're just doing that. And the other thing too that I really like, just like my meals in a bowl, I'll make a bunch of these waffles like I'm doing now. I'll freeze them and then I take them to work for my lunch. They're this great starch that can go or and maybe bring my meal in a bowl too, right? And then I just put, pop these in the toaster at work in the kitchen and um, I'm good to go for a snack or even lunch. They're just, it's, it's the bomb. So I'm going to make a couple more waffles. Go make yourself some. Go to your, oh, the other thing too is you can find plantains at Whole Foods. You can find them sometimes, depending on where you live in the world, uh, at your farmer's market. And make sure the greener the better for these. And I'm going to have the re the recipe on the website. Thank Jamie for that. And um, we'll be back next time with another delicious, nutritious, vitamin-rich, healthy woo -woo food. But most of all, delicious. Thanks for subscribing and viewing Jana Eats. See you next time.